This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.19.9. Activity feed displays remote plugin quick links in line as embedded attachments and no longer requires navigation to view. To enable you to share a wider variety of materials, embed codes can be pasted directly into the body of message posts. Note, activity feed only renders embedded material that your administrators have set using trusted sites. When creating a new message post, enter your message and copy your embed code into create a message. Clean up your message by removing the HTML. Your material will continue to display. When you are ready to share it with your learners, click Post. Embed codes will automatically display inline for users to view and interact with. Web links can be added to activity feed posts by pasting them into the body of the post. Copy the web link into Create a Message. Clean up your message by removing the HTML. Then, click Post. If applicable, a thumbnail and description of the web link displays in line. When grading assignment submissions from grades, your evaluation also appears with the submission in Assignments. This feature implements PI items D3610 and D391. A number of improvements have been made to assignments. This release introduces user tied tool preferences. When you select the tools, such as annotations, to use in an assignment submission, Brightspace remembers your selections for subsequent assignment creations. When navigating back or closing your browser, a new failure to save notification appears, prompting you to save your changes or actively choose to proceed without saving. Note, User tied tool preferences for annotations are available to Brightspace core clients. This feature implements PI items D5321, D5611, D5450, D5367, and D5229. The Assessment Quality Dashboard supports question pool data. Brightspace Pulse now supports activity feed notifications in the Updates tab. When grading discussion posts from grades, your evaluations also appear with the post in Discussions. This feature implements PI items D3610 and D391. Course Admin now features a link to import outcomes from the Achievement Standards Network into your courses. Learning outcomes can still be imported using the new Content Experience, Lessons, and Outcomes imported in one location will be reflected in the other. Note, Learning outcomes may display as competencies or standards depending on your organization's settings. From Course Administration, navigate to Standards and click it. Here, you can view existing standards that have been aligned to your course or import new ones. The Standards Import Workflow mirrors the existing import workflow and the new content experience lessons. Use Activities in Quick Eval to display a dashboard of pending evaluations organized by activity. This feature implements PI item D5475. In Quick Eval, easily complete all assessments for one activity by using the new Activity view. Activities display when there is an unevaluated submission or no submissions in the activity. Activities display indicators to identify new submissions and show the progress of learner submissions completed evaluations, and publish feedback. Hover your mouse over the indicators. To evaluate all submissions, review the submission list, or publish all feedback. Arithmetic and significant figures questions now round up from 0.5 by default. This feature implements PI item D1751. A new completed content topic release condition has been introduced. The method of completion for completed content topic depends on the topic, such as viewing a file or submitting an assignment. Optional content topics can trigger this release condition, and this condition ignores exemptions, meaning the condition can be met regardless of the activity being required, optional, or exempt. The visual table of contents will now display the optimal number of modules in the widget 
and has introduced paging. Want to see the rest of the workflow for importing standards from Course Admin? Follow the link in the video, and, as always, don't forget to subscribe.